Hey guys, me Meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather here. My bullet points. First off, looking at about three different storm systems through 216. So you've got one storm rolling through in the next couple of days, and then there's like a small southern track storm that kind of hits California and dives to the south um, into the southern tier. Um, and then the largest, I think, of the three storms is going to be 214, 215, 216, somewhere in there. And I'll show you why I think that in a second. Um, but all three will initially be routed into the Pacific Northwest and BC. That's where the trajectory will take the bulk of the moisture, at least initially. In the Northeast, still looking at just a couple of different clippers with some light snow accumulation. So we'll look at all that coming up. I want to show you what um, this looks like um, as far as satellite goes and I started um, on the eastern view because I wanted to show you look at the spiral look at that storm system coming off of the northeast I'll mark it in case you don't see it but this guy right here intense area of low pressure I don't know if you saw some of the video out of Mount Washington um, a couple of days ago but incredibly low wind chill values lots of wind over 100 miles an hour it was very cold with that storm system so that's a fascinating classic comma shape to that area of low pressure. Let me switch gears and go into the west here. So we've got a couple of uh, different storm systems. Obviously, you can see um, lined up one here, one here, and then there's another one behind it. So those are the three, essentially, that I'm watching, just sort of riding this flow with the trajectory into the Pacific Northwest and BC, and then they'll run down through the interior with their moisture. The second one again is going to kind of take a really sharp turn to the right, head through California and then run down through Arizona and New Mexico, kind of weaken as it does. Um, I wrote about it this morning on my blog, three storm systems through 216. Take a look at that. I want to show you the jet, kind of an interesting look to the jet by 216. Um, the northern branch, a definite trough, a dip in the northern branch. So there's a storm system that it's it's escorting through the Intermountain West. And the southern branch is pretty strong. You can see it. Uh, so there is some interplay between the north and the south branch. So I, you know, you have to think that that will contribute to some of the intensification on that third low. That's why I'm thinking the third low may be the strongest of the bunch, with the second low being the weakest. Um, so let me go back and show you what the timing of all this looks like. Forecast radar and satellite. So there is um, Wednesday morning. There's Thursday morning. So 2829 is when the snow kind of runs down through Wyoming and Colorado. Then we have to wait for the next storm. There's that uh, low that hits California and then dives to the south, 211, 212. And then we're just in a waiting game right there across the Intermountain West for the next storm, which is really 214, 215, and 216. Um, my totals, let's look at those. So this is um, 2.7 through 2.9. Uh, again, that snow in Colorado, Wyoming is mainly 2.8 into 2.9. Mainly 2.8, maybe a little earlier in Wyoming. Um, some nice totals up in the Pacific Northwest. One to two feet there, 2.7 through 2.9. Uh, phase two. 210 through 216. So you've got the, the one low that dives through California. That's where you get the foot in Tahoe. Um, and then it kind of moves down through Snow Bowl, Arizona, and into New Mexico. So you're going to get some snow out of that, that southern track low. And then the second low, 214, 215, 216, that one runs down through uh, the Pacific Northwest, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, and into Colorado. That's probably going to be the strongest of the three lows. You can see the numbers potentially there. All right, let's look at a couple specialty maps through um, 27 through 216. Uh, um, three to six inches along I-70, a bit more through parts of a Steamboat and Buffalo Pass. What you don't see are the southern mountains of Colorado. Um, you're going to get more snow accumulation down there than anywhere else, probably a foot over southern Colorado. All right, let's look at the Pacific Northwest here. So this is 27 through 216, looking at about uh, two to three feet roughly um, during this time frame for Baker, Whistler, Stevens, and Rainier. A little bit of blow off there through Revelstoke and Red Mountain. Um, so decent totals there. In the northeast, again, not forecasting anything blockbuster here. One to six inches will probably do it with a couple different clippers racing through. All right, guys, that'll do it for this uh, afternoon update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.